Okay, this screencast is going to show you how you can set up Google Apps for your domain name. So firstly, on Google, just go to Google Apps. It's the first link you see, which is showing the Google slash 8. So click on that. Okay, it takes us to the main Google Apps welcome page. And you can see here, these are the different types of uh, solutions that they offer. So we're just going to pick business and employees. Now, I can tell you here there are different types. You can have like one that works with uh, Microsoft Outlook Exchange or the basic. I'm just going to take the basic one, which gives me all these used to Gmail, Google Docs, sites, um, etc. If you want to read more about it, you can click Learn More and it takes you to the pages. It shows you all the different applications that you can actually use. And bring up Gmail here and Google Talk, etc. You can have a good look and read all about it. I'm just going to go and click uh, Get Started. I want the standard edition, which is free. I can review everything that it gives me here. But I'm just going to take the standard edition just now, so I click Sign Up. Okay, now you're on the Sign Up page. Um, you can choose to buy a domain if you want. I'm just going to use an existing domain. So I'm the administrator of the domain name that I own. I'm just going to use my uh, domain for my site. So gonna put in www dot okay um, I'm gonna click get started now it comes up telling me uh, it's just two or three steps to complete um, it gives you indicates these requires these fields are required so I'm gonna put number of views I'm just gonna put actually I'm just gonna put two for now I'm going to put in my details. I'm going to put in my email address. This is just uh, an email that I'm currently using, so I'll put that in just now. I'm going to put in office phone number, my country. I'm going to leave the job title blank, blank here. Um, uh, I've uh, let's have a look. Google Apps requires change of DNS, probably. Yep. I'm going to tick that. Um, and then going to put in like I'm going to leave these fields blank here. My organisation name. Um, it's not required as yet. I'm just using the free version, so I'm just going to fill in the basic stuff there they require, and tick this box, and I'll just click continue. Okay, now on this page, um, they're going to and here I need to enter in the the email addresses I want to use. So I'm going to use admin. No, actually, I'll change. I'm going to use my just my own name for this tutorial here, and I'm going to create a password for the account. And I'll just re-enter the password again. And I will take some tips, and I'll also want to know about feedback. Um, I'm just going to scroll down. It's worth having to read through the terms and conditions. Make sure you agree with them. Follow them through. Once you've read and agreed to them, just click I accept. Okay, so that's it now done. I'm now back into the home page of my account. That's me created my Google Apps for domain for this domain name, which is davidfrosdick.com. Now what I need to do, I want to start um, using Google Apps on my domain name. So you can see here it just says these features not active, not active. And if you uh, follow here, it just says you need to verify domain ownership. So what I actually need to do is upload a small file. So if you just click on that, it'll tell you actually what you need to do on the next page. Um, please verify that you are on DavidFrosty.com. So you can choose different, you can upload an HTML file or you can change the CNAME record. Um, I'm going to upload an HTML file which is uh, much easier so I'll just click that and I'll, I'll verify later. What I'll do now is I'll now go and show you how um, to create a little file and just upload it into the domain name, okay? Mm -hmm.